as promised, let's now elaborate on the spine leaf network architecture. This is really interesting because you would think something like Cisco's ACI, that's the application centric infrastructure, that is really their implementation of full blown software defined networking, where we can have the network automatically configure itself to support, you know, robust cloud based oftentimes applications. This is really sophisticated stuff. And it's so surprising when we learn that there is this simple, really simple two tier spine leaf architecture that makes it up from a network topology perspective. Notice the two tiers. There is the spine tier, and that is made up of the real intelligent devices. These are Cisco Nexus 9000 series devices that possess the ACI controller intelligence inside them, and they're really powering all of this. Notice the second tier is lower end access switches, if you will, that are going to make connections right to servers that are powering the applications. So you have these two simple tiers. Notice the connectivity. Each leaf connects to every spine device. And that's how the connectivity works. It's that simple. So you have a full mesh between the leaves and the spines. That's it. And there's a couple of things about this that work out wonderfully. Number one, if overall bandwidth is a problem, no issue. You just add a spine device and that increases the available bandwidth. If you're having a problem with the number of ports to get onto the ACI infrastructure, no problem. You just add an additional leaf device. And notice anytime you add a device in the spine or in the leaves, it's not this question of how you're going to connect stuff. It's just the simple paradigm of every leaf node connects to every spine node. And there's something else that's really exciting about this, and that is predictable latency. That's probably my favorite feature. You always know that when one server is communicating to another server, it goes to one leaf node, one spine node, down to another leaf node. So if you look at it like as the spine represents a hop in the topology, everything is always one hop away. One exception to this, of course, is if a server is connecting and communicating with another server and they're both attached to the same leaf device, well, then, of course, the spine hop isn't required. But you get the point. This simple architecture accommodates expandability that's really easy to do. And most importantly, I think my favorite feature is it is very predictable latency as you are moving traffic from one part of the infrastructure to another. So it's pretty impressive how even the most complex technologies like Cisco's ACI are going to be built upon a very straightforward two-tier, in this case, spine leaf network architecture.